welcome back to the Pharmacy friends. In last two videos, we have covered UV visual spectrophotometer and IR spectrophotometer. In IR spectrophotometer, most of the questions we have covered which are required for the interview. So in that video, I have intentionally not covered what is the difference between IR and FTR spectrophotometer. Otherwise, that video will be a long. So, yet we will understand what is the difference between IR and FTIR. Here, yeah, IR stands for Infrared Spectroscopy and FTIR stands for Fourier Transfer Infrared Spectroscopy. This is well known terminology, everyone is known. So what is the first difference? The first difference is IR having a single beam or a double beam while FTIR having interferometer. So second difference is IR is slow and imprecise method while FTIR is fast and precise method than the IR. And third and most important difference is IR having fixed mirror which produce only constructive interference while FTIR having fixed and moving mirror that produces constructive as well as destructive interference. Here in your mind first question will come that what is the constructive interference and what is the destructive interference. Let's understand what is constructive interference first. So the FTIR is having two mirror. One is fixed mirror and other is moving mirror. Both are on equal distance. When infrared light hits to the beam splitter, splitter is splits the beam rays, some rays transfer towards fixed mirror and some rays are reflect towards the moving mirror. When the rays come back to the beam splitter, they make same path difference with the equal time and forms constructive interference. Let's understand with this presentation. So this is a Michelson interferometer. In this, rays come from light source came towards beam splitter. From beam splitter, some rays transfer towards fixed mirror, and some are reflect towards movable mirror. When they came back towards a beam splitter, the rays travel equal path distance from fixed mirror as well as the movable mirror, as shown in the presentation. So this is constructive interference when they take same time and same distance from the beam splitter towards the mirrors. Now let us understand what is the destructive interference. So destructive interference is when rays are split from beam splitter, some rays transport towards fixed mirror and reflect towards a movable mirror. But here moving mirror move back and make more distance than the fixed mirror. So here somewhat distance takes more than the movable mirror. When the rays came back towards the movable mirror, sorry, beam splitter, the rays moving from movable mirror takes more time and they make path difference and time variation. In such case, those forms destructive interference. Right? I hope you understand what is the difference between constructive and the destructive interference as are mark shown in the representation that is the movable mirror so this is short summary of this video ir is a single or a double beam ir is slow and imprecise method ir can produce only constructive interference so this is regarding ir while ftir is having interferometer ftir is fast and precise method ftir can produce constructive as well as destructive interference. I hope you understand all the differences of the FTR and IR. Next video will be on question and answer series of the HPLC chronography. So be tuned with this channel. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy for the interview.